recording YouTube. I just realized that I could, uh, I could film during the morning. This brings back such good memories because I used to do a lot of good, good thinking in my backyard. Uh, especially that, um, it's basil and there would be so many bees that one summer where I'd just always be outside just thinking, reminiscing, not reminiscing, just, it was like I was turning into a learner for like, I guess the first time. And so I'd had a lot of free time and it was very interesting and, and good. Uh, but you know, it was what it was as, as well, you know, it was just very difficult um, and such things. Um, but I felt that, yeah, so I'd, I'd look at the, uh, the basil plants and there'd be so many bees, just like six, like five, five or six bees just surrounding the plants. Now we have these basil plants more that are, um, they don't really have many flowers. Many bees, and these basil plants don't really have many bees on them for some reason. But you'll usually see one. We could probably see one. If I could find one. Uh, but yeah. So. So. There's just a lot of interestingness that can happen. Hmm. Cool. Honestly, just I just like looking mainly at the um the trees, like or just in the front yard, it's just trees and such. Uh, or well, I'm not really looking when I'm out here. I'm just thinking. I mean, when I want to be thinking or reminiscing, I'm not really looking at the visuals. I'm just thinking. The visuals kind of just remind me of nature. Um, hmm. Birds, I like the birds, they're probably my favorite, uh, they're one of my favorite animals, be just because of seeing them in whatever backyard that I happen to find myself. Um, where is the bird? We need to find a bird. No, we don't. Because when you're outside, nature just happens, and you're just, you're with it. And it doesn't matter if it happens now or later. Humans are rather picky in determining when things happen. is the, I mean, the fact that there are, uh, we have, oh, uh, never mind, oh, very interesting. I think I could just draw on that wall. Just imagine mentally drawing on this wall. Drawing everything out. Hmm. 
such big leaves, such flat beds. It's rather hot, I mean sunny, and hot, uh, mainly, mainly sunny. Uh, it's nice, I remember some winter days, the sun comes out, like, you kind of forget the sun exists in the winter, I feel. Or when it comes out, you're like, whoa, this is, this is really good. This is a rare time. Uh, so... I don't know, it just kind of makes it. But... And then again, in my day-to-day, -day, I'm just typically not thinking too much. I'm just, I mean, just learning, thinking, just balancing variables in my head, thinking, or sometimes I am just memorizing. That's barely even thinking. It's like less brain energy than a conversation. Anyone can be given a list of words to remember, like, if they wanted to had the motivation to, it wouldn't be the, I don't think it'd be a horrible mental process, but it's just what it is, you're like that then, and then you can figure out ways to better remember, I guess, then, that it is difficult to remember, I guess I'm taking that for granted, because I've been a student who's had a particular ability to figure out ways to remember things, because I've of, of certain situations, personal situations, that have yielded me such abilities. And it's idiotic. Like, I mean, it was just by chance, like, kind of like, oh, you know, maybe, like, oh, I just really, like, mm, how you say, it? it's not even fully stemming from something good. Like, for me, I really just wanted to do well. So I'd be like, man, I just really want to remember something. So then when we go on a family outing or something, I'd always try to study. And when I was walking around, I'd be like, wait, I can study while walking around, just mentally. And that would be kind of how I formed active recalls of things, wanting to do that. But then again, I was getting in the way of my family's activities, and I was just, like, probably the worst person to talk with, um, for at least some time. I remember one time we went to the mall, yeah, I feel like I really just ruined the day for one of my family members, because I just wanted to study in the car, and they stayed with me. Uh, and, um... Yeah. But, you know, there's always a good thing and a bad thing formed from things. You just got to, um, just gotta realize and move on. As hard as that may be. Um, like I do remember the, the uh, uh, well I guess that's not for me to say, well I'd be referencing another video, you know if you, I know at least one person that watched the video where I was walking around for 20 minutes around Palmer Field, um, yeah, just uh, any field, that, I mean, it, it doesn't, didn't matter what field it was at all, I'm walking around here in the same way, kind of, except this place has memories attached to it, so did the other place, I guess, any place has memories attached, but again, most thought is the same, most of my thought processes are, are just the same, um, hey, that's uh, a funny thing, I felt like when I went R R, like when I repeated the word R, it sounded intelligent. I don't know why, but it just, um, like there are things like, like there was a TED talk where the guy was trying to like he was like, this is it's like how to sound smart in your TED talk, and uh, 
<laughs> At first I thought it was like a lame video because it was always been recommended. I'm like, oh, it's just gonna be lame. And then I, uh, no, he, it's really good. It's really funny. Uh, it's like, uh, so I recommend that. It's, it's actually really good. It's probably one of my most recommended ones. Not the beat. The beatboxer dude is pretty interesting, but I mean, just like the most views um, for at least the TEDx talks. And oh, it's not. I mean, it was interesting at the time when I watched the beatboxer. I was like, I, this is a this guy's awesome. Um, but now when I'd watch it, like, I mean, I thought it was great. I just didn't think it was worth being the most watched TED talk. I'm like, oh, that was a pretty decent one. I watched it till the end. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, but yeah, hmm. side track, I do say so. Okay, uh, a lot to talk about, but I would like to change the format maybe of these videos a little bit. Um, I'll probably still do this a bunch because it's the easiest thing to do, and so I can just, um, I can just do, um, um, lost my train of thought, I can just, you know, sometimes I feel that, um, I remember now, but that sentence is fine, but sometimes I remember, like, a thought, and it makes me really, it's like a thought where I was really immensely happy, and I'm like, ah, oh, I just want to absorb that thought like like a thought I'd had back then or I'm mimicking something I did back then and I just want to absorb it essentially but that's I don't think that's how what we should do um I think it's not like bad if we, if we do that if we act in that way mentally I don't know if I'm seeking weirdly out of my butt and crazily but I'm just saying that it is it's something that I feel I've done, and maybe maybe you've done it too, and and um, I just feel that by doing so, you're kind of diminishing your present self, and your present self is probably pretty awesome, and you're just not realizing. Um, but I still find my I just found myself doing it right now because I'm like, wow, when I walk around here, it's like that. It's like when I was walking around in the dorm bathroom, like, what's wrong with me, uh, kind of think that's how you say a uh, mistake, might be a heavy word, but, you know, something I will try to just simply change what I do, huh. down that cement you hear the you hear the truck it's laying down low. is that a bee or is that a hornet let's get closer to find out I'm just kidding okay yes this came in a while ago because the previous one was louder than this truck is right now. It was really loud to us. Like, if, if this noise was emitted by that at the same volume as what I'm hearing right now, it would be louder than this noise. So yeah, it was really loud um, and it was really, I could probably hear it from inside. So I'm actually not phased by the fact that they changed it because it never actually bothered me. It bothered my sister and she wasn't able to go outside. Um, she didn't like going outside to a smaller degree because it gave her a headache and you know, I'm like, no, go outside, it's beautiful. Um, sorry, change the air conditioning guys. Okay, and they changed the air conditioning and now we're good. I mean, I didn't really initiate it crazy that directly. I think I mentioned it more than once to my parents. So, you know what? Good job, Abby. I'm just kidding. 
Sometimes I feel like, man, if only I did this, I could have helped that person. But then, you know, maybe I will help that person. And then they change, and I'm like, maybe even that was me. But then, someone else I didn't help will also change in a good way. And I'm like, well, I can't say that was me. Obviously not. I'm doing anything. So it's like, was that first one even me? No, definitely not. There's a lot of internal psychology. I say you cannot change someone's mind. You can only change someone's heart. And that doesn't make sense at directly. By that, I just mean you can give someone words that will, you know, maybe give them a different perspective. But it's only when they think about it on their own, when they're at night, that they're able to change their mind. And somehow I feel that saying change their heart m makes sense. So, there's that. I think that's my valuable, my valuable perspective um, to you. No, it's not my. It's not really valuable. Everyone's perspectives are really valuable. I feel like people underestimate it. It's just I'm in a mental high at this ten minutes, the last ten minutes, um, and so um, I probably better at conveying my perspective, and that's what makes all the difference. Being better at conveying all the memories you've had, all the visuals, all the things you've seen, understanding them and to some, in, in some way, you know, you're not get, there are many ways to interpret the fact that I'm outside, oh, I'm risking myself getting UV. Like, I could have seen it as that, me being irresponsible. Or I could see it as me being responsible by getting sunlight. Like, there are different ways to interpret a situation in any case. I believe, uh, to, to at least a really large extent, so there's both your present interpretation and then you can think about it next week and then you get a different interpretation. Maybe I was procrastinating when I was walking around outside at Palmerfield, that one video. Maybe I was procrastinating whenever I was in the bathroom. Maybe I was just trying to get the guilt of not not changing the world off my shoulders by releasing YouTube videos. With maybe I thought that someone could get help by them, and thus I thought I was doing something okay. When I could have probably been better spent my time um, helping someone directly by talking with them. Maybe so. Thus, I was just relieving guilt by doing something I thought maybe could do something, but instead. Uh, wasn't doing anything, but you know, I, I felt like maybe oh, the whole world could watch my videos and get inspired. Like, that theory. So uh, by making a video, I was getting the guilt of not changing the world off my shoulders. Maybe it was that. Or maybe I was trying to really push myself hard to change the world by constantly making videos to practice how I talk, so that when I do make further steps and a growth-oriented mindset, which I was trying to employ, then maybe so thus, I wasn't actually getting guilt off, I was trying to, um, well, I was getting guilt off, but I also felt that there was something I could do, and it was helping my mental health, and thus, it was really beneficial, and it was conducive to a growth mindset necessary to change the world. So, there's, again, uh, it's two, two sides of the same coin. But how many sides does the coin have? Three. It has three sides. The coin has three sides. It has a top side, the bottom side, and then it's it's a cylinder. So it has actually the little the the, the side between the, the two faces. Did you know that if this was a coin with it with that with that was elongated? One, two, three. Next time you ask someone how many sides are on a coin? and tell them to give you the actually correct answer, not a colloquially, not the casual answer. I don't think you could use the word collo colloquial in that sense because collo 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 colloquial no. uh, is more of when it's referring to words, you know, that I just use casually not when you're talking casually. I'm just trying to see, that's also the way that we interpret words. I'm interpreting that word with a certain meaning inside my brain. My brain is just molecules, and so am I, right? I mean, maybe, maybe there's something more. It probably, probably is, probably is. 
but we are thinking about it all wrong, I feel, sometimes. We're thinking about this light essence that does not exist in our universe or something weird. It can... Why can't our brain be made of molecules? Is that going to... Why can't a soul be made of subatomic particles maybe different from those of anything else in the world but they still exist in the world there's that there's that one theory because there was i recall an experiment that found that there was mass of some sort that couldn't be i guess accounted for but i don't really exactly know but again i saw griffiths that textbook um yeah i heard it be recommended to me and others um, through um, Andrew Dotson. He's a really good YouTuber. I love him. He's so awesome. I'm not a physics major, but he inspires me to study physics at the highest level. And it's like weird because I don't know what any... I I'm starting to learn about maybe what quark, what the qu different quarks are. I kind of want to take quantum chemistry because I think that would be really vital to understanding the universe and I think everyone should take quantum chemistry whether it's a class formally or online Griffith's textbook we just search Griffith and the second I mean Griffith's physics textbook I think the second search result has like a newer one made in 2012 that yeah just read that you don't need a class to tell you to read that you have me as your teacher to tell you to read that, except I'm no teacher and you're no student. We're all students, actually, and we're all teachers, actually. So. So there we have that, and we have a lot of um, goodness in the world, thankfully. Um, and a lot of bad, but, you know, I feel like we're lucky to live in a world with, with so much goodness. Um, that we just have to work on that. It's like, the fact that there's goodness is awe-inspiring. Like, like, what? Like, you, if you have, if you want goodness, then that's already magical. Then there's, there's a hope. The hope to be fought for. And let me tell you, it always seems like... I mean, not always, but it can seem at times. Maybe your brain chemistry is behaving is behaving differently. That's nothing to be scared about. That's something I was most terrified about. Um, you just gotta make the right decisions, knowing that maybe, maybe like you're not gonna be like, oh, now I can't remember how I felt back then because when I thought of the memory, I distorted it or something, like. There's not the need to be that paranoid. If you distorted it, maybe, may, I mean, if you think you distorted it, there's some intense emotion behaving within you that is really magical and that, that needs maybe more exploration. Or just, again, everything's day by day as well. Even, like, I took things day by day. I wasn't really feeling that mentally good. Honestly, throughout the semester, I was feeling really sad. Most of my days, a very strong, not a very, I'd say a mild sense of despair. I felt a strong, it was milder at least than previous senses of despair. Um, mainly because I knew some things I should and shouldn't do. Um, just a couple, at least, or one. Um, see, that's not that bad. Oh, that's so much. I expect it to get so much louder. No. Yeah. And honestly, at the end of the semester, I actually did really bad. Um, just happened to. It didn't, doesn't matter. Um, I try, although whenever I think about it, I do get sad. Even right now, but it, it's a lot, lot less and a lot less concerning because I know a lot of, I, I've, I know how you gotta maybe know, I don't know. I can't tell you what you gotta do. I can tell you maybe you gotta do what you want. What, what you gotta do what you, what you gotta do, what you think will get you to a position in life where, you're, where, where you will be happy and maybe the place that you'll be happiest 
is where you're changing the world. And if you think that, then don't give up on that goal, in my professional opinion. Because let's say the world does... Imagine a future where the world does start changing. Do you really... Do you want it to be changing without you? Do you want to just wake up one day with the world changing and you figure out that it was actually possible and you couldn't be a part of it? Because you didn't try anymore. It doesn't matter if you stopped. Every People give up all the time. I've given up for extended periods of time. Like, you've got to, I guess, acknowledge the fact that there's still so much that can be done in a week. Think about one week where you're operating um, proficiently. That week could be magical. Then we have week two, even crazier. Sorry, I realized that. Oh yeah. So, don't stop. If you're like me, and you're failing to change the world, but at least you're trying, or at least you want to. At least when you go to sleep, you're like, I do want to change the world. And maybe occasionally you'll make some strides at it. Maybe you'll improve, you'll do things for yourself at some sort of desperate attempt, mildly, mildly existent attempt to change the world. And you do that, you know, me, me doing the YouTube video right now, like, it's not gonna, I don't think it would do anything. Me, if it motivates one person, then that's a ton more than I, than I really think. That's a ton more than I think it will do, so. That's really, that's again, a desperate attempt of kind of non-existent attempt at uh, changing the world. Um, but if I see that on the news, I'll be like, we did it, you know. It's because maybe someone ends up figuring it out. Maybe you end up figuring it out. Maybe I end up figuring it out. Someone does. Maybe you don't see yourself being able to figure out. Maybe you see someone else being able to figure it out. You cannot think like that. That is a wrong thought. That is very easy to think, I feel. But I feel like that's a thought that must be thought. Because a thought that a thought that uh uh, is this even recording? Oh yeah. I thought that this 